Hey there guys, what's going on here today? It is your boy John from JTP Metal 123 here today. We have to review this, have to, have to, have to, and eventually I will get to their, their whole entire discography because it's a band that I've grown up with. It's a band that I've listened to for many, many, many years and uh, we got to talk about it, but we are talking about Cannibal Corpse's new album, Violence Unimagined. And uh, as soon as I heard that uh, they were putting out like um, demos and stuff for this back in like 2019, 2020, I was like, cool, we're going to get a new Cannibal record because Pat O'Brien went crazy. Uh, apparently he got arrested and did some really crazy stuff. He was like running around on drugs or something. I don't know, but he did something really crazy. I had to get my morning caffeine in, sorry. But he did something really crazy. So they brought in the one and only Eric Rutan, who's known for many other death metal bands, and he's a perfect fit for Pat O'Brien. He he toured with the band and everything there for a while until coronavirus, you know, kind of took over. But he was a great, great fit for the band, and finally we get a great, great record. So it just came out, and uh, so we got 11 tracks of just crazy craziness so i'm gonna go ahead and talk about my favorite tracks on this so first of all i want to say over torture is really good great track i'm gonna say that one's probably my favorite one bound and burned another great one follow the blood and i'm gonna say murderous rampage is just really awesome too and i like how paul the drummer he actually wrote some lyrics for some of these as well like he wrote some of the lyrics for some and i i really like that but this album is exactly what you want out of a cannibal corpse record it's it's technical it's very kind of just it's pretty much it's, it's like how corpse grinder says it it's a it's a horror movie but in music that's pretty much what it is and but it's very technical it's heavy it's it's fast it's brutal it's it's exactly what you want and i didn't know how eric rutan was gonna fit i thought maybe it was gonna be just kind of like more like hate eternal or i thought maybe it was gonna be like one of his other bands no literally it's it's exactly cannibal it's exactly what what i thought it was gonna be and it's awesome and it just kills this album's awesome and uh this was the longest period that we went without a Cannibal Corpse record, all because of Pat O'Brien. I'm assuming that whole crazy situation. So we went we went about almost three to four years. Let's see. I'd say more like four years, yeah. 2017 to 2021. So yeah, it's, it's been almost four years. Usually they put one out every two to three. We went four this time. So this was the longest period of time that we actually went without a Cannibal Corpse record. So another thing too um, is that so this is a great addition to their catalog. This is really it's not like their early stuff. It's not what like the Barnes era or nothing, but this is right up there. This fits right in with their catalog and with Eric Rutan joining. This was perfect, perfect, perfect. And I really enjoyed this record. And if you want me to give it a rating, I'm gonna have to give this one. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm going to give this one a 9. I think it deserves a 9. I, I think the technicality, I think the lyrics, I think just the overall visuals of this record. Like, just look at the cover. I mean, it's just awesome. It's straight out of a comic book or something. Like, it just looks really, really cool. And Vincent Locke did the uh, artwork cover. He's done, I believe, like, a lot of them. He's done a lot of them. Um, a lot of the Cannibal Corpse covers. But... Overall, guys, you guys are going to enjoy this record. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Did you think when Pat O'Brien was going through all this craziness, did you think they were even going to come out with a record? Because I was kind of debating. I was like, are they or are they not? I don't know. But let me know what you guys thought down below. Let me know what you guys think of Cannibal Corpse and should I do a whole discography because they're from Tampa. I grew up near Tampa, so they, they're kind of close they're kind of close to, you know, where I grew up and they're a band that I grew up with. So let me know what you guys think down below and I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.